Apparently. There we go. We're back. Sorry about that. They're gonna come back. They always come back. It's time we show Keith the, the magnificence that is this game. Yeah, for playing Apocalypse mode and dying multiple times. This is regular mode now, though. Okay. Everything we did. Sorry about uh, jumping off there, but we had to play Race the Sun because Bro Force was it was damaging my pride. Usually do Smash Bros on live. That'd be oh, great. Oh, Smash Bros, yeah. It's all good, fam. Thanks, Corum. You're the best. Yeah, Corum, you're fucking awesome. All right. I hope everyone comes back. This is what happens when you quit Bro Force. Go, 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 go! Do you guys think we'll be featured in the next damage check? In the next legend deck. On the last le oh, I think it's gonna be IG. They're gonna pick the legendary heroes. I think it's gonna be legend deck Japan, and it's gonna be that second follow up to uh, the Grand Blue guy. Oh, what's his name? No, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be the Legend deck Aichi, because he's the only one left of the three heroes. And if they don't pick Aichi, they made a great mistake. No, fucking damn it. What? Excuse me as I wake up Ryan. Ryan! He is. Wake up. I'm here. Hello. No, you're not. You're asleep. Oh. Sleep with my friend. Now, I don't care what it is to you. What's the green thing do? It's jump. Jump or shoot, man. Yeah, jump or shoot. Jump or shoot. Oh, Can we, we play Mega Man? No, we can't. Oh. I don't have the necessary things to stream that with me. Boop. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Aichi. And it's gonna be Alfred the Great, the Light. Or Alfred the, the Late, instead of Alfred the Early. What games you got, Jose? Uh, whatever I need hey, to get. Ryan, you cute. Someone just said you're cute. Dang it. Wake up, Ryan. Hello. Yeah, you can't get the fucking flattery if you're asleep. Sure. Go make another drink. Make yeah. it with a lot of shit, a shit ton of coke. What? Make it with a lot of coke. Well, let's drink a coke. Okay, drink coke. Great. Right. I need you awake. Neil Harris. What'd he say? What about Blasto Beledo? Uh, I don't, I still think it'll be Alfred as the grade three. Do I think there'll be a Blaster Blade? Absolutely. Is it possible that Blaster Blade will get the grade three? Maybe, but that means that Alfred will be the stride. Ooh, what about a Blaster Blade Break Ride? Uh, it won't be a Break Ride, it'll be a, a Break Stride. It'll be a GBTO2 or uh, something like the Legend or whatever. Where like it has a great GBTO2 skill and has a great on ride skill. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kind of okay. like um, the Legend slash uh, the Blaster Dark Diablo was. And it'll definitely be called Aichi the Light. 
Ugh. Aichi Sendo the light. Ah, shit. Oh, we fight, boys? Shit. Oh, he did. Alright. Keith, you in? Yeah, I'm in. Let's do this. Let's try this game. Yo, who wants a drink? Me? What do you want? Uh, alcohol. Thank you. Not like super amounts of alcohol, though. What kind of alcohol? Like the alcohol kind of alcohol. Do you want breakfast? No, no breakfast. Just... All set. What? Yeah. Alcohol. Uh, pick whatever you feel like. Everybody's getting wrong. Woo! Takeru, what did you get in your shitty bag? I say I got a portal. We back, boys. We always back. I just sent the light featuring MLB. Oh my god, if we got the actual MLB stride. Shit. Yo. No, 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 you got like four turns. I hate Fuck you. I hate everything you stand for. Yeah. Blaster blades get a little pricey. Just get a little pricey. Yeah, blaster blade is super expensive right now. How much is it? Uh, twenty. How much is blaster blade when you were? Uh, what? Twelve. The the promo one was like twenty five. The one you had. The one I had. Oh shit! I sold them for twenty. Okay. Out mile is underrated. I don't honestly think so. I think Out Mile is strictly, strictly weaker than Thing, Alfred, and um, Saint Guard. It's weaker than both of those decks, assuming GBT06 is out. In in today's meta, it's weaker than than um, than Saint Guard by a mile, by a mile. Okay, I'm going to go get one last turn, and then I give you two. Nora is the queen of pancakes. Your argument is irrelevant. Who is Nora? Oh, uh, it's Ruby. Ruby is good. You know, I fucking love pancakes, though. It's that weaker, just slower. In this meta, Braxton, weaker is slower. Slower is weaker. If I can beat you faster, it doesn't matter how strong you get. Die. I don't have time to watch you scale. Speed, speed, speed is a factor in considering strength, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's kind of like um, Dragon Ball Z when Trunks gets super buff, mm -hmm. but can't hit Cell because he's too slow. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter how strong you are if you're not fast enough. So by being slow, you're essentially weak. Okay. You disgust. Mm -hmm. Yo, fuck you. I thought you'd love Thanks, sir. Thank you, sir. My liege. To victory. Victory. To you, boys. Oh, see how I dodged that? that Since pancake good. batter in the mail. Thank you, sir. Your donation is accepted has been done. MK the Wolf, what's your favorite type of pancake? Blueberry. Chocolate chip? Um, lemon. Lemon? What? Yeah, lemon pancake. What? Is that a pancake? Yeah, fuck you. I like me some lemon on my pancake. I'm not insulting you. I'm asking. I'm yes. genuinely curious. Brent's trying to make alt middle deck. Uh, any opinion on what to use? Anything by the name alt mile. Well, assuming he wants to make the alt mile deck, uh, you gotta wait till GBT06, get the alt mile support. Make sure you have the grade 2 and grade 1 in the trigger foil. Um, aside from that, I really don't know. Uh, make sure you get the new stride, it's gonna be super expensive because it's a GR. Fuck. Oh, what? What was that? What was that? You died faster than I did. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, what was that? What's what my daily rank right now? 40. You fucking died. Yeah, get the shit out of here. Oi, oi, oi. Put your dick away. You're fucking knocking my drinker out. Bro? I'm okay with this. Okay, yeah, it's your fucking house. You did, right? <laughs> Just remember. Yo, I saw some chocolate chip pancakes. Use pancakes as quick. bread for a breakfast sandwich. Oh, nothing wrong with that. It's a griddle. Oh, McGriddle! I would crush a McGriddle right now. What the fuck is with you and McDonald's food today? <laughs> Bro, I love you love McDonald's. McDonald's food on any given day. Yeah, there's so much protein to be had in McDonald's food. 
And by that I mean there's no protein to be had in McDonald's food. What the fuck just happened? No, go away! You gotta, you, oh. you, you gotta run a live stream, Key. Just play Diablo, it's better. Diablo? Oh, oh, no, wait, what are you oh doing? I fucked up. What are you doing? I fucked up, I'm sorry. Death, inevitable yet unexpected. I can't jump. Do you think I work? You guys live in the U.S. Yes, we do live in the U.S. I do. Kind of. Yes! Lemon Man Gig! Yes, I'm Gay Wolf, you're the best! I, I love you! I don't understand what Lemon Man Gig is. Yo, fuck you, Ryan! I like me some. You just fucking drizzle the lemon on top of it. Oh, so it's what like you mean uh... you drizzle the le What lemon? You know, you know, like when you have the fucking citrus and shit? And you what like the fuck are you in citrus? You eat citrus today! Bro, Bro, I, don't want, I don't no, no, want no, no. scurvy! <laughs> I don't like, want like scurvy! Obviously muffin except it's a pancake. And where is the car shop? Oh shit! Oh shit, I'm back in this game! No! Damn it! What state and here? Oh my god! You spilled drink on my pants! What oh, is Nan took in a red pants? That's where Nan took in a red pants! Guys, give a, give a break with McDonald's. I just had them for lunch today. So did uh, we, friend. So did we. What state? Yeah, we did. Yeah, where is the car chip that you go to? I was in Seattle and I found nothing. We live in North Carolina. North Carolina. And technically we North go to Carolina. Game Theory, but there really isn't a Vanguard no, Locals no, no, anymore. No, 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 no. So we basically go to Jose Perez's apartment hey. where the Card Fight Vanguard Invitational is held. This is the Jose Living Room Invitational. Every once a week, every week. A minimum of once a week, sometimes twice a week. Sometimes twice a week. Sometimes we run the St. Guard Gauntlet and Ryan gets incredibly salty. Fuck you. And your double beef. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. A double beef black pepper sauce prosperity burger. With double samurai burger. What the fuck is that? Why did I get one? That sounds delicious. Why are we talking about food? <laughs> What's wrong with food? <laughs> Every Vanguard, yeah. every Vanguard player Everything knows. is about the games when you play Vanguard. You gotta make sure that you're, you're sustained. Mm -hmm. You gotta make sure you have your big game bag before going in. Yeah. Happen, or you'll never make it out alive. Oh, 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 don't die. Don't die. Come to Greensboro. We have shop tournaments and a pretty tight knit community. Everyone is pretty chill here. Uh, I've been to Greensboro before. What shop? We're talking about Lucky's? We're talking about Lucky's. Uh. Say it like that. Lucky and I don't get along. Well, you and Lucky? Yeah. Lucky the individual? Lucky the individual. Have you met Lucky? Yes, I have met Lucky. I have played in his tournaments before. Hey, host his apartment tournament. Make a clan entirely made out of food. Oh, no, wait, Keith. Have you oh. seen the series Fighting Food on? Fried Rice! Uh, fried Rice! Fried Rice! Fried rice. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm gonna have a clan. Damn it, I totally walked into that. Here you go, Keith. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna name a clan. And it's gonna be called Spaghetti About It. Um. Okay. Space spaghetti. 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 Name the Great Zero, and we're gonna trade off every time. Okay. Hot dog on it. Okay. Great Zero, Jose, go. Uh. Uh. Fred Reiser. Fred oh, Reiser. No, he's a Fred. He's a fucking Great Three. He's your heartbreaker. Uh, Fred Reiser is the Great Three. Um. Go go with Hot Dog on it. He was such a main or fucking. No no no. Uh. Hold on, let me look at the fighting futons. Hold on. Futons. You know, all these different series. Oh shit, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I have seen those for them. Yes, you can actually make an entire deck out of food with Neonectar. Yeah, but then, then, you, then you play Neonectar. Neonectar. <laughs> then we're sad. But well, then you're playing Neonectar. <laughs> I'll say, remember that time that Neonectar was good? I have a hard time with the calling. <laughs> God, if it's green, just don't play it. Except for Math Boys. Math Boys are good. Except Math Boys, which are actually a lot of the green. Actually, all of the green decks are pretty good right now. That, that upsets me. What are green decks? Are there Neo Necks or in like, Great uh, Nature? Great Nature. Oh, Mega Colony. Fucking green. 
there. The great zero is Cinnamon Monkey. What the fuck is a Cinnamon Monkey? C Cinnamon Monkey? I got that part. Explain why it exists and whose is it? Bongli, I don't know. It's just one of the dudes. It's one of the futons. I liked I liked when uh when the guy fought the like the final boss and his first his first bomb was called Quick Snack and I'm like what the fuck I already know what the grade four is. It's fruit turtle. No, the grade four in in the food in the forget about a clan is coal slaughter. Oh, fuck. Coal slaughter. Coal slaughter. No, that's, your, that's your staple grade two right there. You got rose marinade, mussels marinara. Oh my God. <laughs> Where the fuck are you pulling these from? Fighting Budon. Fighting Budon. Have you seen Fighting Budon? Oh wait, Jumbalidia. Nice, nice. Jumbalidia. Favorite art in Vanguard, everyone. Oh God. Uh, favorite art oh, in God. Vanguard. I really like the blouse. All the blouse. The blouse arts, have amazing art. All the blouse arts, I have a hard time not getting behind. The blouse and maybe Liberator of the Round Table Alfred. I really like his art. But his art looks a lot like Blaster Blade and Liberator, and it gets me confused. I don't know who I like better. Well, right, let's get back to the truth. Which out? Which? Which overlord do you like the art? Dote. Dote the boy every time. Always big Dote. Hmm, what would I give it to? Yeah, it's gotta be BT04 Blau Kluger. Grade 2. SP. SP. That's that uh, shit right there. Sub infinite kites up. I got a perfect region. Holy shit. Good room. Enjoy my. Infinity Kites, so you just appear to be somewhat late to the party, so yes, I can assure you the legend is busted. You should not play combo. Please play the grade, it's so much better. Or don't play the X because that's too many grade threes. Any questions? Do you win? Where's the point? Oh, that's me dead. That's accurate. Rip. Andrew Seat, you got the message right there. Titty all day, every day. You want them titties. I had a long conversation with these people about Lou. They just didn't know we're talking about titties. <laughs> and that conversation hasn't been posted yet. Yeah. Yeah, you haven't fucking done anything about that yet. Plus, the man's not wrong. He's coming out on Monday. This all right, cheers. We can talk Andrew about Seat. Titty all day, every day. No. <laughs> to victory, boys! I think you told you. And to titties. <laughs> Boom, moon, triangle. All questions about the legend will be uh -huh. referred to Ryan. Yeah. All questions about titties will be referred to me. God damn it, Keith. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. So, uh, tired right. dudes, which female unit would you eat? What? What? Andrew like Blair, like I... eat out? No. God damn it, Keith! Adult stream. Adult, it's stream. adult stream. I don't care what it is. Anyway, uh, my G lineup. Depending on whether or not I actually want to run the ace, based on how good the legend is. I'm gonna run the bed. That's fine. I'm thinking. <laughs> we get a quick brief respite. Or whether run right. two to four novel, at max two the ace, at max two. Root he left. said eat out. He did. Yes, he did. No, that's a different guy. No, he said. Oh, is it a different guy? World for Andrew C. Andrew C. Das. Uh, one Mustafa. Oh, basically, one of the first strides. So you can run Mood if you want to. You can run Mustafa. You can run Irresist. You can run Dragonute. TVMA. <laughs> My boy Korum no. That moment when I'm playing this game one-handed. Yo, 
go, you know what we can play? Road Horse? The Binding of Isaac Reboss. We're not playing the Binding of Goddamn Isaac. I'm so Isaac. good at Isaac. No, you're not. I'm not good at PS4 Isaac. Yeah, you're know. trash at every Isaac. Fuck you. I have 400 hours in the Binding of Isaac. That doesn't mean you're good at it. That means I'm really good at it. Does it? Yes. This time, I'm radically equivalent. Oh, damn, I went to the shade. I, I am trash. I'm making solely references on my chat. Maka chop! Maka chop. Ah, go ahead. I'm gonna try to work my way down here. Mm, Alright, track. There we go. Race the sun. I love my house. Best on how long Ryan lasts in this game he's never played before. Kind of like Q-Burner, I guess. That's a difficult one. I would eat out of Gray. Braxton said Wingo Bray was his favorite art. I mean, he's not wrong. Oh, Wingo Burf! <laughs> that dog knew what's up. Man, that's the That's from Soldiers. I'm a Jorge probably picked Shamsiel. Meh. Even though her vagina probably smells like a tuna fish sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time for showers. I'm busy going to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like protein. Oh no. Coral just oh, answered Andrew, the Andrew, Andrew seat clarified. He said, I mean like, like the pussy eating. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> okay, just to make sure. God damn it, Nate's gonna destroy me. Just to clarify, you cannot pick the British triangle. And what is we're your not sure of their what is, Jose, what is your favorite anime? Not counting Vanguard. Oh, I think we've had this success already. What are you gonna say? My favorite anime is Cowboy Bebop. Okay. Just double about it. Say it, say it to the screen. Cowboy Bebop is my favorite anime because it is the best anime. My second favorite is probably... Is Gurren Lagann! Dango Tapa! Gurren Lagann! Spino! Yeah. Um, my to type? answer the question at hand, though... What's the question at hand? What was the soul, the soul bar, the kind of last two draw to from uh, Deep Police? Oh, the girl, Operator Girl Mika? I'd probably eat her. Mika. You would eat hey, Operator Girl Mika? Mika. That's okay. awful. Why are you my boy today? Why are you my boy today? Man likes Gias. Dude, Gias it's Gurren Lagan. Yes, it is. Good in the Lagos. Yeah. Who put sword art in there? Your band. Oh, <laughs> damn, <laughs> but that Mario Shim said I would eat out Gurgoy, no judging. Yo. Damn. Okay, friendo. Are you nobody so judging tonight? Our days were good. Uh, but things took a dark turn in this in, in this in this stream. We only answered the question that you asked. Jose, well, you're a Power Rangers fan? I'm a huge fucking Power Rangers fan. Yo, summon the sub. I am literally the biggest Power Rangers fan. Like Literally uh, the biggest Power Rangers fan. Like, Ryan, what are you doing? Like, I'm like, easy. how big does a Power Rangers fan have to? I freaking hang a freaking Saba on my wall. I love Power Rangers. Oh boy, Saba though. Why am I not playing Isaac? <laughs> they need a bit more power. Welcome to Team Absolution After Dark, TFA. <laughs> That's no. what we're talking about. He's Gorm, not wrong. Gorm has always understood. No! Bro Force, go! Go, 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 go! Saba must take a rest because the nail fell. The nail fell. <laughs> Until tomorrow when I'm sober enough to put the nail back up. That is not something I want to deal with right now. Battle Charger is really freaking good. It's the best good Power Ranger series oh, Lord. since probably RPM. RPM was good, Samurai was garbage, Super Samurai was more garbage, Mega Force was okay, Super Mega Force was a freaking travesty. Dino for uh, Dino Charge is good for once in its life. He eat! Hashtag eat. Hashtag eat. We got any robotic fans out there? I don't even know what that is. Everyone in chat, which favorite female unit would Wow! Andrew's good taking his chat to the most MA. Would 
which which female leaders with their pussy from? That's an odd question. That I don't even get that question. It That's says, the question. then Jose, please read the Power Rangers comic that came out this month. It's so good. I haven't read it yet, but I will before the end of this week because I gotta find it and then I gotta read it. So I'll probably go to Barnes and Noble and read it. Yeah, because, Barnes and Noble. Because I almost thought about collecting all of the issue. There's like. 12 issue covers, no, no, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 issue covers for issue 0 of the Power Ranger comic. 9 different issue covers. And then there's like 5 for issue number 1, I think. And that's a lot of collecting for a man who always collects every single amiibo that he can find. That is quite a lot of collecting. Um, oh, damn it. Brian, you did. I'm so bad. So, then Jose, please, I will read it. Um... Power Rangers are Super Sentai. NK the Wolf, I love Super Sentai. Super Sentai over Power Rangers any day. Uh, I like them both for different reasons. I like God Carpenter. damn it, Andrew C. Really? <laughs> really? God damn it. I, I like um I like Super Sentai, I like Power Rangers. I, Super Sentai is more adult, so as I've gotten older, I do tend to enjoy Super Sentai a lot. So that that's something. My mind thinks faster than my hands. <laughs> no shit, it does. Well played. No, well paced. Yeah, well paced. Uh... Which female unit? See what you. I already told you. Kirara? Is that her name? Uh, no, Mika. Mika, yeah, Mika. Mika. Operator girl Mika. Mika. Operator girl Mika. Give me that deep oh, release. Oh, no. Dragon Dancer Monica the Draw Trigger, the original one. Mm. There you go. Mm. Not bad. Cheer Girl Adelaide. <laughs> <laughs> Cheer like, Girl Adelaide. Don't be like Goblin Nichols. <laughs> Everyone in chat, cheer girl Adelaide! Common Rider! <laughs> wait, wait, Ultraman or Common Rider? Wait, who asked that? Um, Whoa! Animal. Don't get me wrong, I like Common Rider. Common Rider Ghost? Fucking fantastic. Common Rider Gaim? Fucking fantastic. Common Rider Drive? Terrible. Common Rider Double? Joker! I'm all about Common Rider Double. I am a huge fan of Kamen Rider Double. I'm a huge fan of Kamen Rider Decade. Um, after that, I kind of I, I'm not. I started rewatching Kamen Rider. I watched the old ones when I was uh, when I was younger and rewatched them. But Kamen Rider Decade, Kamen Rider Double, Kamen Rider Gaim, Kamen Rider um, Forze is really good. Kamen Rider O is really good as well. Uh, and Ryan's looking at me like, holy shit, Jose doesn't tell you too much Thanks about Jeff. Thanks for showing up, Good to see you. Yeah, Undead Fred, goodbye! I'm out of here, guys. See you later. <laughs> um, anyone watch Giver? Is that like MacGyver? Well, it's tagline for, uh, for Raise the Sun. Be excellent to each other. Isn't it the tagline for fucking Bill and Ted, most excellent adventure? Maybe. Is anyone here a big fan of Bill and Ted's Most Excellent Adventure? No? Okay. Hey, hey, I have hey, Gaim's hey. belt on my wall. I need to get Gaim's belt. I really, because it's basically Fruit Ninja oh, the shit. Common Rider. It is legitimately Fruit Ninja the Common Rider. Yo, so, hey, you got a question? What would you like to trade for Gaim's belt? <laughs> Yo, is there any tips for studying game theory? Take a game. Um, oh, a second. Oh, no, no, no. oh shit, that was bad. So, give me two seconds. Uh, I recommend this book I have also, here. Also, Jake, I appreciate your joke. Actually, so, there's a book here by Morton D. Davis that I highly recommend. It is called Game Theory, A Non-Technical Introduction. It is a fantastic book about explaining game theory in a way for people who aren't, who haven't taken Calc 3, linear algebra, oh, like man. the high technical maths, and it's a great way to enjoy um, game theory in that uh, in that way. So uh, enjoy that for sure. It, it, it's a great way to study game theory to get an introduction. After that, I recommend actually taking Calc 3 and linear algebra, and then actually somehow taking a game theory class. 
Or Khan Academy probably has some great uh, lectures on game theory, they which we teach do. you a lot about also, it. Also, Jake, something about your comment earlier about uh, Carpet Vanguard and Popper. We actually tried to make that a format once, and we called it Lazy Peon. Lazy Peon! And actually, back at that time, the most broken deck in Lazy Peon was uh, Mr. Invincible with uh, with the Grade 3 Soul Blast 2 draw card on it or something. And you just infinitely replenish your hand while playing, no like, really early Novas, and god, that, that, uh, that deck was tough to beat. Okay, MK Wolf asks, Kamen Rider or Super Sentai? Super Sentai every day of the freaking week. Uh... Hey, someone's playing the ma Major Ring Unique. Hey, that's you. Dank memes. Uh, it's mine and Are it stays on the wall. No, no, Damn no. it. At least someone loves my bad joke. We all agree Decade is the strongest common writer. Decade is not the- I like Gaim. Gaim or a uh, Wizard. Common Rider Wizard. That's the one I was forgetting. I love Common Rider Wizard. Um. Uh. Any words for Dragonic Overlord the Legend? But, oh, shit. Amazing. There's nothing I have to, uh, there's nothing else. There's nothing more that should be said about this card other than the fact that it's Even in Kai XA says so, I think Kyle's so just stronger. It's a question. You got girlfriends, if you don't, you're in the same category as the YouTube channel called Lost Paws. Well, technically I have a girlfriend. He has a girlfriend. I used to have a fiance. So. Keith had a long term girlfriend as well. But we all me and Keith walked away from the game. Yeah. We backed out. Uh, Major Nikon. Nikon's a fantastic Major. It's universally accepted. I have a great job. You can ask these guys. Yeah, he does have a fucking good job. Oh my gosh. I love my job. But you don't even need to be an Econ Major to have your job. That's also true. I could have your job. Uh, God is God, literally a God. Jose, what are your thoughts on that little thing saver topping in Japan? What do you think will happen there? Um, so we'll answer things. Guy was really good. My favorite Sentai is Gokaiger, because Gokaiger is the best Sentai. If you don't agree with me, you have not seen it enough times. Gokaiger is the best because it's everything you want in an anniversary Sentai. Um, what are your thoughts on Emobu Thing Saver that topped in Japan? Praise God my Thing Savers did not stay in my binder in vain. They're finally back. Any opportunity I get to play Thing Saver is an opportunity I will take. Do I love Saint Guard as a deck? Yes, it is aggressive and does it win? Yeah, it wins a lot. It wins a lot. But any opportunity to bust out those Legion Rare Thing Savers, I will take in an instant. In an instant. Um, you in forgot? Instant? In, in an, an instant. instant. Uh. So, what are your thoughts on MLB? Oh, no, I forgot what Dote the Legend does. Uh, so, it's a build your own strike. It is a build your own strike. GPT 02, you basically discard a grade 3 rank. Discard a grade 3 flame dragon. And Catalyst 1? And Counter Blast 1, maybe Soul Blast 1, 2. I don't remember what other costs there are. It's not very costly at all. Uh, it gets 15k plus a drive check plus a grade. So, it becomes a grade 4, 26k. And it's great. With an extra drive check. It's grade one, drive one. And at the end of its attack, I think it has to attack a vanguard. Mm -hmm. You discard three cards and it stands again. It's a build your own stride. Nothing wrong with that at all. Uh... Gokaiger was amazing. Gokaiger is the best. It's CV1. Uh, so Corey Andrew says, the, this is a Super Sentai right now, these guys are on the Super Sentai train, I fucking love these guys right now. So, the new the new one is straight crap, uh, I actually haven't seen any episodes of the new one, the jungle one. I'm, I'm a huge toy collector when it comes to Super Sentai Power Rangers, you can ask these guys again. Um, I'm a fan of the toys, kind of, the Megazord's kind of weird. The sword's interesting, the morpher's weird, because it's like a giant Rubik's Cube. Um, it's attack on rear guard. You attack on rear guard, you stand, and you attack on back. Oh, thank you. Um, 
shit, I wouldn't have known what to say if I hadn't figured that out. Go Kyger's great. Uh, Go Busters is fine. It's good. It's not great. It's like meh. Kroyuger is fantastic. Toykuger is good again. Um, this new one, I can't speak to it right now. Kroyuger is fantastic. I like the batteries mechanic. I like them freaking dancing, shooting into the air. I like the circus motif of it. Oh my god. That's I like everything in Kroyuger. The, the movie with Kroyuger, where um, they do the same thing with Mighty Morphin. God damn it, Ryan. Yeah, You're not Stop falling asleep. asleep. Do you have any questions about The Legend? Wake me up. God damn it. The Legend has to attack a rear guard, Ryan. Thank you, God. N N Ninja hurts me. Oh, N Ninja! N Ninja was weird! It's also the next Power Ranger series. Power Rangers Ninja Steel. Ninja Steel. Hey, Cinnamon Oreos. What's your opinion on Cinnamon Oreos? The Cinnamon Oreos are amazing. Yeah, Braxton said that because Braxton knows. Wait, Braxton, why are Cinnamon Oreos the best thing in the world? Because Cinnamon Oreos taste like cinnamon rolls with Oreos. No way. I'm not kidding. Can we, like, crush some Cinnamon Oreos in the morning? We have to go buy them. Okay. Like, I just spent $40 buying us freaking... Yeah, because you lost a bet. Uh, why did I agree to such a terrible game? All hail Lord Tommy, from green to white to red to black. Spartan, you understand me. You understand my love for Tommy Oliver, the greatest Power Ranger that ever lived. I love these people. These mm -hmm. fans are my people. Yeah, they have all this Power Ranger <laughs> They understand my Power Ranger love. Wait, Tommy was a Black Ranger or what? He, when he came back in Dino Thunder, oh. he was the Black Ranger. Someone just said you are the same. You are a sexy bastard. I know I am a sexy bastard. I live the real I live the real dream. I'm your biggest fan. I think I. Damn it! Wow. The that sexy was bastard. not the sexiest of bastards thing to do. Here you go. I gotta read these quotes. Yeah, you got a lot of stuff to write. Um. Braxton says. Keith, they are so good, I stopped eating Twizzlers. Oh, shit! They gotta be amazing, then. Albert PNT says, also the best Oreo is Cool Mint. Ooh, Cool Mint. I love me some mint. I asked the girl out with the Kroyuja Samba. At a boy. At a boy. Did it succeed? Did it succeed? Ask the boy. Captain knows I'm your biggest fan. You sexy bastard. Thank you. I'm touched. Do you think? Do you think they will do Koryuja? Cause that is close to American standards of twelve back in the day. Oh shit, I'm dead. They're gonna skip over to Koryuja. They've already announced that they're doing the Ninja, which is uh, Power Rangers Ninja Steel. So they they've already abandoned the idea of doing Koryuja, in my opinion. Just like they abandoned the idea of doing. Um, Go Busters. I don't think I, did, I thought that Go. They, I think they thought that Go Busters was too, I don't know, militant, and they thought that Toy Cutters was just Thomas the Train. What? Why? Why did you run into that block? Because I didn't care anymore. Why did you run into that Fuck block? You. Um. What do you guys consider as the weakest clan in all of Vanguard? Murakumo. Rokumo is the weakest clan in Vanguard as of now. No, what's the name of that other clan? The, the one with like Caro Caro Blaster Blade? The Stranger? E Stranger, yeah. The Stranger does not count. <laughs> it, it's, um. It's probably Murkumo. Ryan. Yes. Weakest clan in Vanguard. Ooh, uh, weakest clan in Vanguard. The dream is dead, Jose. The dream is never dead! Damn, it's really hard to focus on the comments and then also that. Mm -hmm. 
Corum says, a stranger is the best clan. Keith, get the fuck out. <laughs> it's got Spider-Man. It's got Spider-Man. No, what? What? Okay, fine, whatever. Whatever, whatever, that's fine, that's fine. Apparently, Ryan, Overlord has more final forms than DBZ characters. Yay. If they don't do Zoyuja, I will no longer question what America is smoking. I don't know if they'll skip that one because they're, oh, shit. they're running out of Sentai's to skip. Because now that they've skipped Gorbusters and Toykyuja, they're officially one, exactly one Sentai behind by doing Ninja Steel. Um, granted, they did stretch out uh, Dino Charge into Super Dino Charge, but um, they're running out of stuff. OTT is the word. Can we tell some stories about that? Bushi has been introducing new keywords for all clans. What is the best in your opinion? Um, oh shit. Simon well. I like I like a lot of the keywords. Honestly, I can't think of a best keyword. They're all really mm -hmm. for most parts, they're all fine. They all work, except for one. I hate brave. I hate Brave as a mechanic with every fiber of my being. I think Brave is one of the most terrible mechanics. Ugh. I hate Brave as a mechanic. So, um, Jake, does Absolution, Absolution still do Forcible of 2? Yes, uh, a lot of the members of Team Solutions still do play Force of Will. That being said, a lot of us, have, they've been really busy and they, they haven't filmed often at all. It's also been this weird end of rotation thing, so they've been really difficult in filming that. Um, we're going to try and see what we can do with that at the time being. Um, also, I've been personally focusing on making sure the Vanguard channel gets content out consistently because if you were subscribed and watching uh, Team Out Solution Vanguard at the beginning of the year we were kind of a little lots of lackadaisical because we were in this big transition period getting ourselves back in gear and I don't want us to fall off because I want our Vanguard content to be continuous and sustainable and I want you guys to enjoy the Vanguard content we bring so I've been really focused on that and in terms of playing Force of Will I still do but in terms of um, the channel of Force of Will we're working on it so I hope that answers the question. Jose, so when Legend Deck Naoki is revealed, do you think it will be a Gauntlet Buster unit? I think it will be it will be because Finish Blow takes a Gauntlet Buster heart, not EGBD. Um, I really hope Gauntlet Buster gets something. I mean, he Gauntlet already got a stride. He already got a stride. Yeah, I know. We but uh, he could. I just don't know if we'll ever get an actual Naoki Legend Deck. If it will be, it'll have to be next year. I don't want an Emmy Sendo Legend deck. If Emmy, if Emmy gets a Legend deck before Aichi, I will break something. I will snap something in two. <laughs> I like this Jake guy. He said that answered the question better than Bushi responded to Atlanta. So I'd say I'm satisfied. Well, shit. <laughs> That says something about it. Oh, I'm dead. I think it's gonna be Aichi next year. The year after that, it could be Leon, it could be Koji, or uh, uh, Kote, and we get a D-Police Legend deck. Oh shit, that could be interesting. Um, oh, I'm dead. Again. Aichi sucks, Jose Chrono is better. I'm sorry that Chrono's plot armor is three stages thick. I can't help that. <laughs> Aichi was barely Aichi, all his plot armor. Aichi was relatable for that very reason. 
Whiskey Dick the character. At least Bushi responded, they could have went Konami. I guess you're right, they could have. But then they would have been the company they love. Alright, I'm taking it. You're trash right now. You know, fuck you. Answer the freaking comments for once okay, in a goddamn I... life. Key. Yeah, show me. Where are the comments? Uh, I'll answer the comments. They come up here. Well, there we go. Battery disconnected. It's too thick. Yes, it is. Oh. <laughs> he just says, yes. Yes, it is. Justice, justice will always be served. I want to ask a question to you guys in the fans. Where are you watching this from? Are you like in Asia? Are you in England? Are you in Ireland? Ireland? Are you Ireland. in Spain? Where are you guys? Because it is late at night and I would be very interested to know where you guys are from. Ah, oh, I died. Yeah, what what show were you talking about again? What's um hey, what's that show? Take, take over. What ah oh, shit. The ninja super form, powered by an old drunken man, ninja steals more than likely vegetables. I agree. Actually, both main characters suck. She and is better. Hey, we she got, a, okay. we got a Virginia fan in here. Uh, oh, Gorm, we got an NC. Gorm is Panama City, Florida. Uh, Drygon 100 is from England. Wait, yeah. Drygon, what part of England are you from? Southern USA. Jake is from Greensboro, I'm assuming. I'm in NC, bruh. It's only midnight here. Wait, what? How was it only midnight? No, that's Josh James. It's only midnight here. And he's in San Diego. In California. Oh, okay. San Diego is three hours behind. Uh, Infinity Kai XA is from Virginia. Hey, look, Rex is from North Carolina. <laughs> and see, uh, Bacon Bits is from Ohio. Koji's from oh, Hawaii. Yeah. Bulgaria. It's 10 in the morning here. Whoa, who wait, who's from Bulgaria? Uh, the Sev Chev guy. Oh wow, that's really cool, actually. Malay, Utah. Um. Oh shit. Leon Legend deck would be interesting. I would be love to see what happened with it. Lincoln, Nebraska. Also, Jose, look up scouting owl. I don't know what that is. I can't look it up right now because I'm paying attention to the to the YouTube stream. No, I'm dead again. Mm. Malay? Mal uh, I'm watching from Malaysia. Wasn't able to head to my shop to play though. So lonely and bored until you arrived. Wait, what? Really? Okay, fine. Whatever. Snatching it from me. Because I know I can do better. By the way, if you haven't noticed, Ryan is asleep because Ryan is a bitch. Yeah, Ryan's a huge bitch. Everyone in chat right now, hashtag Ryan's a bitch. If you would like to retweet that, Ryan is most bitch. Yes. I'll be fine tomorrow for a road trip. You're always Ryan? you're just gonna sleep anyway. You're right, it's great. <laughs> I'm gonna be the only one who keeps Keith company. Wait. But two of us have to drive because I have to drive us back. You said hashtag shit. Ryan's a bitch. <laughs> yes, keep it going, everyone in chat. Hashtag Ryan's a bitch. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Oh, that's brass. I don't care. No, look, Corum Byers agrees. <laughs> oh, Corum, I thought you were my boy. Corum, yeah. well, you sleep like a little baby back. Hashtag bitch, Ryan's a bitch. Ah, oh, damn. Wow, look at that. How fucking bad are you at this game? Look. This is apocalypse mode, okay? This is where real men shine. Yeah. Crit hype? Crit hype? I crit hype! Yeah, how would you rank the decks in the meta post legend deck in GPZ06? Post Legend Jacob 2? I don't know. This is that it. That is a good question. 
That is too early to call. I mean, do I think Saint Guard still has a chance? Absolutely. Do I think Shadow still have a chance? Absolutely. Uh, do I think Kagura has a chance? Absolutely. Ryan uh, is everyone's bitch. No, everyone is my bitch. <laughs> Ryan's a big fat bitch. She's the biggest bitch in the whole world. Right? <laughs> TVMA, Coral <laughs> Mittens. He's reminding the audience. Yeah, TV hashtag TVMA. This is a great game. Come over there, Keith. <laughs> um, All right. I, I think Braxton put it best. Everything is good. Yeah. Everything is good. We or, 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 as, or as Ryan would say, if he was actually paying attention, we live in. Yeah. We, the heat of fajita dream. Yeah, the heat of fajita dream. Not too bad either. There's a lot of it. Aquaforce is still around too. Aquaforce is still around. The, heat, the, the, the spicy ripple heat. It's spicy. What do you guys think of the Raging Form Abyss thing? Since it's basically you think Abyss. This Raging Form shit needs to stop. I thought I buried that deck in, G in BT12. Why can't it die? I hate Raging Form. It's a great Yo. card. Yo, Jose. What? Uh, what's his name? Sheev just said, Braxton is my new fave. Jose wrecked my name. What do you got to respond to that? Uh, I did not graduate with a degree in English. And I know only two languages. Please excuse me. No, you, Please be my favorite again. You barely know one language. I am. I will stab you with this controller. Don't <laughs> ask how I would do it. I will do it because you've been asleep for the last five hours. Okay. What? Is this gonna make me? Yes. Just look like the face of a man who cares how often or how long he sleeps. For. There's a hashtag saying "Ryan for bitch." Right That's now. great. <laughs> and I can remind all of you why I'm not a bitch whenever I damn well hashtag please. Ryan's a bitch. One like equals one prayer equals three respect for Odysseus Slap. <laughs> also, hashtag Ryan's a bitch. <laughs> oh my god. Do any of you know American Sign Language? Yeah, I do. You really? No, fuck no, I don't. Keith, with you, I never know. You know piano, the flute? <laughs> yeah. Side, I do know lots dance. of things. Keith can... is the Renaissance man. Yeah, I'm the Renaissance man. Jose forever my number one. Sorry, Braxton. Also, hashtag Ryan's a bitch. <laughs> Shit, I'm dead again. Put Ryan's my favorite in the chat if I'm actually your favorite. <laughs> and no one says yeah. anything. <laughs> I'm correct, my <laughs> fans. Dead son. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. no, I'm good. What the? Oh, shit. It's oh, already over. Retry. There you go. Wait, why is Jose everyone's favorite number one? Because I'm a god. I'm a rap god. Yeah, a rap god. Yeah, fuck you. Look, I was gonna go easy on you. I'm gonna feeling. But I'm only, I'm only gonna, gonna get, get this, this one chance. chance. Something oh, wrong. Oh, someone just I said, feel it. Hey, bro, look, Ryan. I'm feeling hey, it. Hey, Chichi just said, like Ryan's some... not a bitch. Thank like, God. Like something's about to happen. But I, I don't know what. If that means what I think he means, means, we're in trouble. trouble. Big, Big trouble. trouble. And if these bananas, as you say, you say I'm, I'm not taking any chances. You just want the dark order. Feel like a rap guy, rap guy. Oh my god, what are you looking at? Uh, Ryan's a bitch. Wait, Ryan's no bitch. Ryan's not a bitch. Brax, I thought I was your fave. This hurts me. They shall bow down to the Joker of Vanguard. That's me. I'm a fickle creature, says Braxton. Fine, Nate's my fave now. <laughs> Ryan, my favorite from bottom up. Brax is number one. The hell he is. I had no favorites. You all funny. Chairs. He was the only one who signed my guild the ray. <laughs> oh my god. The chat's like. Who's your favorite Team Evolution member? Jose, Braxton, Civil War. <laughs> <laughs> Spider-Man's my favorite member. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Yeah. Hey, Big Man, Big Man. 
Jake says your particular brands of comedy complement each other. That's why I even watch Absolution videos. Also, Ryan's a bitch. <laughs> yes. Yes. Put literally any any hashtag he wants in here. Well, that and the Vanguard related content. I mean, I like to think that what makes us different from every other YouTube Vanguard YouTube channel is that we're in, we're educational, we're informative. We'll talk about the meta. Oh, we'll ad we'll address the issues, but we're gonna do it in a way that's entertaining. We're not just the Vanguard news channel. We're the Ryan Oliver. We are yes. we are the Josh <laughs> Ryan's bitch. We are the John Oliver of Vanguard. It's we're people. We're gonna we're gonna bring you the news you want to hear. We're gonna bring you the analysis you want to hear. But we're gonna give it to you in a way that makes you laugh and oh makes you God. say, "I'm gonna remember what these guys said." I'm gonna make. I'm gonna. I'm gonna remember what these guys said because not only did they say it well, they said it in a way that makes me laugh. Like. Aquaforce. Well, you know what Aquaforce needs? A freaking overlord that can swim. <laughs> Dude, swimming overlord. That's, so much fun. That's all I fucking want. And they got it with ketchup with anger boil. Oh my they God. got an overlord that can stand. I Ryan's an expensive I bitch. I fact, an expensive bitch. Ryan needs that fucking Roots Chris. Ever thought of adding a woman to Team Absolution? We have a woman. Hashtag Ryan's bitch for life. We have one already, she just doesn't make videos yet. Also, I heard Jose was tilting a bit in Atlanta. I was not tilting actually that hard in Atlanta at all. Oh, I just played a huge bitch. I just played a shit ton of games, did I not, Keith? Yeah, you did play a shit ton of games. I did not also. tilt. At all. Actually, I didn't tilt at all when I was in Atlanta. I had, I had the, uh... <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I didn't pay attention I had the, uh... I had the cocktail. Yeah, we to did. To keep me calm. Wait, can we, can we do story time? Uh, in Atlanta? You can do story time. Oh, can we do story time? Okay. Hashtag story time with Keith. What I'm happened in Atlanta? Man. No. You know what's a great thing to do before you play fucking Vanguard? Right. Is what you need to do is get a fucking large Baja Blast from Taco Bell and then fill it up with double shots of bourbon. It's what you honey need to bourbon. Do. Honey, honey bourbon. bourbon. Honey bourbon. Hashtag honey bourbon Ooh. is the way to go. When you need to play Vanguard, bourbon and Baja Blast. It's an oddly specific combination for both. It is, but it makes amazing drinks. Of the two planets. Hashtag story time with Keith. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the new yes. hashtag. Yes. If everyone wants it, I'll bring a bubble. Oh my god! Bubble. It's my boy Andrew! Oh my yeah, god, it's Andrew. my boy Andrew! Which Andrew is it? This is my friend Andrew from back home. In hashtag my home. Ernie In Bird. my hometown. Uh -huh. This is my boy Andrew oh, from my home really? town. This is one of my best friends from freaking first grade. Oh shit. Wow, we're bringing it all the way back. By the way, everyone watching me play this, I want you to know that I can barely see. <laughs> oh, I'm so drunk. I can barely <laughs> see you. What I, I got, got the drink. <laughs> <laughs> My stomach is filled with haggis and herd. <laughs> I had a gold few cuts of hay. I feel like we haven't made it past the first 10 you, seconds. You, you, <laughs> hashtag <laughs> Baha Blast! I'll show you a Baha Blast. Baha Blast! The dream can only be oh. more alive. Our dream can only oh. get so real. Oh, it's a fucking explosion here. Hashtag Ryan is a bitch first. Ryan is a bitch. Ryan is most bitch. <laughs> Every time I'm streaming on Ryan. Twitch, we have actually streamed on Twitch. Jorge streams on Twitch the most because Jorge is best at streaming CFA. Hashtag free bourbon. Hashtag <laughs> sorry, Oh my god, I love you guys in chat. You guys are all amazing. What do I think you fucking flash? Why did you crash into that fucking block every time? I throw into. Innocent PS4. Oh, uh, please not my PS4. My no, it wasn't a cushion. I'll bring it back. <laughs> I see you can work with cushions, Keith. Guys, do all of you know all of Dotel's abilities? And Ryan is a bitch for life. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> I really don't want Ryan. my help playing Kagero. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I just made my best friend Andrew famous. Andrew is famous. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag honey bourbon. <laughs> I am the Bacon, best! Bacon Bit says hashtag story time with Ryan's a bitch. 
I was asking you that Jose wouldn't be playing oh. Vanguard or making all these lovely live streams if it weren't for, oh, that's right, Ryan the bitch. Jake Marlowe says Baja Blast, that's Spring Fest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Hashtag, what makes my dick rock oh, hard, okay, Baja hold on, hold on. Blast. All of your recent videos have Nate Salty about car girls. Can we make Nate the bitch? No, because Nate, Nate has a fair point. Ryan is a bitch God, because Ryan damn. falls asleep. And no man falls asleep. I always fall asleep. I'm sleeping. Why am I jumping? Just jump, Brian. Jump and shoot. Jump and shoot. I yeah. think Gorm said to you, Keith. What? I should take a good it. Keith. I know, I fucking saw that shit. Corum, why would you betray me? Corum, why? Corum is a pickle god. Corum, why would you do this to me? Oh, okay, let's go to this, uh... Hey, you come the back. legend, the great, the end, the end. The break ride. Right, you were daily rank number nine. Hell yeah, I'm the best. <laughs> I, don't I just saw my friend back. Andrew come back. I can't believe my friend Andrew just said hi to me! God, I love that man! Oh, I just flashed back. Oh, that bad. Oh, shit. The shadows are real fucking good. Jose Perez just said Andrew come back. I spilled Baja Blast on my deck and haven't lost since. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Baja Blast. The nectar of Dude, the gods. Why am I playing Apocalypse? Why are you put on a different mode? Why am I playing? This is Jose's favorite fucking game. Yeah. Goddamn flashbangs. <laughs> oh no. Andrew, come back. I play Shadows Knows My Ninja. Three edgy, five me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hashtag. Sick memes, bro. Ryan is Jose's bitch. You belong to me now. Cool, I made you. Well played? No, well based. <laughs> Andrew never left me! Ah, oh, my boy Andrew! I miss you! Yeah. Come visit me in Chapel Hill, please! Mm, I had to do that shit for these two. Please! I had to visit these guys. Andrew, where are you at, friend? He actually bought a uh, Nova Grappler trial deck when I brought him up. He's like, this game's actually pretty fucking fun. I was like, yeah, yeah, fucking shit it is! Yeah. He used to play Yugimons with me. It better be a fucking reprint of Blade Master without a fucking market. Oh going. shit, Anderson just a girl like in his ass. Jose, oh, what do you have to say about that? Pussy weed. Pussy uh, sweat. So how much? Baja Bass's best personal lubricant. <laughs> what? Uh, Team Ancestor, what do you think Double R will be in Fighters Collection? <laughs> yes! Brax to view, my bitch! Come here, boy! No, and you see said get good. Ryan is never everyone's bitch. Pussy sweat. What the fuck? For those of you who have Kill a kill is best. Gurren Logan is ass. Kill a kill is worst. Gurren Logan is best. Gurren Logan. Gurren Logan. I'm gonna play race with someone I'm looking. Ryan, your date. Braxton is Keats, bitch. Hang on, hang on. No, no. Yeah. Whoa, hold what? it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I got this. Wait, so, hashtag Team Out Keats should get the quick back. <laughs> Keep out on you, says Braxton. What? Braxton, come here. Hang come on. here and fight me. Hang on, boys. Braxton, come here to the fucking chat and fight me. Hang on, boys. We have a 13th Amendment or a Constitution. Just one no one. Oh, you did. <laughs> no one can own anybody. <laughs> Except I'll Jose. Fight you. I'll fight you. I'll fight you. I'll fight you. I'll fight you. God damn it. My drill is a drill little piece of heavens! Yes, yeah, what do you think you are? Most extreme battlers do look like gunmen, actually. What? The the main, the new grade zero, well, the newest grade zero from GBT01, um, I forget his name, extreme battler what? or something, something. Rune Bao or something like that looks like Lagon. Oh, really? Legitimately oh. looks like Lagon. And, uh. <laughs> Take it to the current version, Holy Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> there is nobody sitting on this couch right now. 
Who is the virgin? Nope, we don't have and, any. And we were, we are making that an official adult stream when we yeah. say that. No one sitting on this couch is a virgin. This is not exactly the Hogwarts Express here. There are this no is, on this there couch. are no wizards on this couch. Be a virgin on this couch tonight. Um. Although I don't know why I have to validate myself. Braxton, Braxton, okay. Corum put a new hashtag. Braxton sends scrubs to the shadow realm. That's all far one too long. All one word. <laughs> Andrew, and my, my boy Andrew said, "What if I had time?" Get off your goddamn phone, play race the sun. Uh, Give me that shit. Yeah, get. Yeah, they right said, right take the bitch again. Wait, what? <laughs> what place were I at? What? <laughs> Fucking get off that shit! Now you can have this. Yes. Quorum, pick a hashtag and stick with it. Ryan is a bitch. Hashtag 2017. Girl like it is for man, may man. Hashtag no virgins on this couch. No virgins on this couch. Hashtag Ryan's a bitch. Please don't pee on the couch. <laughs> Why does this get so weird? Oh my god. No Andrew seat, you're banned. No, Andrew C, you're fine. I love you, Andrew C. But you're not my boy, Andrew Stephenson, who was my best friend since, God damn it, since elementary school. The man was my boy. The man is still my boy. Andrew C said, oh yeah, right. Kill a kill has best men, bro, except the fat dad. But he's such a good doctor. No, he <laughs> was uh, the back alley bitch. <laughs> he's such a good doctor. He's my favorite doctor. Jojo. Jojo is from. Wait, what? That's me. That's you. Congratulations. I did not say that. I said that on your phone. It's amazing. Don't screw What's with the couch. You don't want to. Need. Tokyo Tomare. So All right, I'm going Venus. to bed. Bye, bye, guys. <laughs> Braxton's going to Vegas. Corum, Corum, story time. There's this guy at uh at Nationals who uh was dressed in the card fight armor. So he had he made this like armor out of card fight Vanguard cards and he played brawlers. And every time, even when I wasn't playing him, he uh he used Turbo's skill, he would yell, oh, no, 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 no. and uh and, like wipe out their whole board, and everyone's like, oh well, he made a judgment difference. So I had to play him like round two or three. And uh, he, he does the thing, and he wipes my board. And I'm playing, I'm playing Maelstrom Aquaforce uh, when that was good. And so he wipes my board, and I have like I don't know ten cards in hand or whatever. So I just drop another board and go, "Buda buda." He goes, "What?" And I'm like, "Buda buda 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 buda." Straight Rambros, Zahuardo, Toki wo tomare, and he's like, what the fuck? And I do the entire Dio reference in front of him and kill him that turn. Oh, no! So it's the Toki god, no Goki des. Oh, shit. Oh, you're so upset. Who likes wearing them moon shoes down in the food court and picking up the. <laughs> I fucking hate you, Keith! Yo, Keith, how's your Tamagotchi collection? Are they all healthies? Ora, ora. Boy, guys, let's Rose Braxton here, here now! Yo, Monster yeah. Sleep, Rose Braxton? Hello, Brax, that's not a Monster Sleep. Braxton is secret lolly. Ora, ora, ora. Hashtag the, the, I fucking hate you, Keith! Keith, enough of that shit! Weren't you a 90s kid? Yeah, weren't you from the 90s, Jose? I was from the 90s. Yeah, wait, why are you- So are you, you're the same age as me, Keith! <laughs> yeah, don't, don't act like you're fucking younger than me! Alright. That's how I fucking feel, Corum. No. That's why we call the, the deck is now called... Star Platinum. Star Platinum. Fuck. Oh my god! I 
do have to ask you guys, do you like when we stream this random, like, video <laughs> game stuff and just talk to you guys? Or do you prefer that we just strictly stick to Vanguard content? Because I am actually interested if you guys actually enjoy when we just get online and start streaming shit randomly and just start talking about our days <laughs> and start talking about random things. And, I mean, because if you guys enjoy it, we'll do it. Because I, I enjoy doing it because I like playing video games and I like talking to people, so both... Yeah. Both yeah. is fine, but if you guys aren't enjoying it, please let me know. If you guys don't like it, if you guys don't like the fact that we just we don't strict stickly to Vanguard topics because there's only so much we can talk about, just let us know. Okay, cool. It seems like we have universal praise. Yes, four dudes are in fact universal, but I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> if I was to do statistical analysis on this, that. I'm gonna need a sample size at least 30 for this. Damn, we did. Pepsi was not satisfying. Hashtag Jose doesn't have any fly honeys. I'm Fuck you, kid! <laughs> Don't you fucking dare post like you said shit! How would you go ask that man? How would you guys go ask a single mom again on a date, okay? That's all you did. That's all yeah. that. That's all the dates that Keith can get is with yeah. his fucking mom. Yeah. And being right. I went on a date with the hashtag of the Zavity Flat Honeys. Yes. Yes, it's everyone is shit. Jose yes, doesn't I'm... have any fly honeys. I have all the fly honeys. Jose has zero fly honeys. Just remember it. Jose doesn't have any fly honeys. Oh, fuck streams hipster life. Yes. Fuck streams hipster life. Teen Up Solution, Irish God. What cars do you want reviving units for? Eating I want need, I would take any of these. Hashtag Jose is Gaben, brother. <laughs> uh, I have all the fly honeys. So yeah. Jose has no fly honeys, everyone in chat. I have you all 19 the, people. I have all the fly honeys. Jose has no fly honeys. Keep, don't let Keith come into this team and just supersede. Play the game. <laughs> like shit. Play the game. Well, uh, Matt? No. <laughs> Well, face. That's yeah. not, not how the quote goes. Well, man, no. Well, no honeys in Jose's life. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I'm dead. Jose is a bitch. Look at that. Yes, no, 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 no. <laughs> Keith, the fuck you, you. Uh, you don't uh, anger our Lord. No, Jose, Jose is a bitch. Coram <laughs> is behind me. And you Coram guys. is behind the weather <laughs> of the day. I'm a fly bitch. You really. See, now you're getting it. <laughs> Ryan is a fly bitch. At least that's what a wall of I should have done it again. Wants to watch Jose play Digimon Cyber Sleuth. <laughs> I will do it. And I will. I will do it. Shit out of me. I fucking love Digimon Cyber Sleuth. <laughs> Just watch it like run around with Omnimon and murder people. Fly bunnies. Boom! You shit. Shit again. I don't know what the fuck happened. There's a ramp there. That I, like somehow went Get up. Get good, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> will you stop dying, Keith? <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag fuck all you guys. I hate you all. I was gonna actually do something and then I didn't. I was gonna go through Vanguardians and, ra and rag on people. Jesus, bro. Digimon truck coming out tomorrow, I'm so stoked. I'm always stoked for Digimon, dude. Hey, These dude. boys are all about Pokemon. Fuck Pokemon. Pokemon, Pokemon is life. Pokemon is life. Boy. Someone challenged me in the chat to the Pokemon Showdown game. Yo, wait, who plays Showdown? We'll play you yeah. right now. We will play you right now we can, in we Showdown. Can, we can't stream Showdown. That doesn't matter. It doesn't we'll matter, yeah. Up. I will play you in Showdown right now. Who was that? Jose, ask questions. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Jose, questions. ask questions. Amuse us. I don't know. What is your favorite quality about Team Absolution? Yeah. That's my first question. What is your favorite Team Absolution? Thing. What is your favorite thing about Team Absolution? 
Uh, MK the Wolf says Digimon is better than Pokemon. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. He's not wrong. No, he's not wrong. He's fucking wrong as shit, is what he is. Oh, he's got a good one. Digimon is better than Pokemon. Let's roast Keith. Ryan doesn't mind being a bitch no more. <laughs> Victor vs. Ken says Showdown is so cancer though. And Spartan Energy says, I only, only, I only yeah. bow to the King of Jank. Also, about the revival cards, what do you and Ryan and the Irish God think? What about ADD? What would you want to see? What card would you want to see revived? ADD. ADD? ADD needs to come back. Yeah, ADD is good. Yeah, ADD is so good. Oh, yes. Dry Gun to 100, I 100% agree. However, I only care about the games. Yeah, it's all about the games. No. Cyber Sleuth is better than every Pokemon game ever devised. Wait, that what the fuck did you say? Oh. You shut your whore mouth! Wait, that's right now. Hashtag that is not true. Right is not true. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're basically telling me that Pokemon Coliseum was the best Pokemon game to ever exist. And also, it was actually Digimon. <laughs> <laughs> A la mao! A la mao! Oh shit. A la mao! Yes. <laughs> Dude. There's no excuse for you. I always hated when teachers fucking said that shit to me. But there's excuse no excuse for you. <laughs> I hope you enjoy your college. Your shitty, your shitty college education that led you to be a third grade teacher, you dumb bitch. <laughs> oh, great! Yes, we will most likely do a Legend Echo 2 rant. Oh, it could happen. Uh, it it could happen. Part 2, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> okay, so we need to do this, but I'm gonna sneeze. Stop sneezing. Why the fuck do you? Sneezy, breezy. It's easy, breezy. Sneezy, breezy, cover girl. <laughs> That's me. I'm gonna be on the next cover of Cover Girl, everyone in chat. Do we have our own personal decks? Yes, the ones we typically use in our matches belong to us individually. We have a team library, so to speak. But, uh, mm. see you making bits. Thanks for coming. But, uh, so, for example, I own Oracle Think Tank, uh, two different, well, I used to own two different variants. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Kagero, I used to have Angel Feathers, uh, and I have two different Aqua Force decks. Uh, Jose owns every variation of World Palace to ever exist. I do, in fact, own a shit ton of variations. That's really all he has. I, have, I also have a Shadow deck, actually, that we never use. It's not that good. The, Diab the Diablo Break Ride one. He has the... You basically care Claritor that deck. I have Claritor that deck. Um, we also have we have original set special Duke. We have Azel from Braxton. We have Warning from Braxton. We have Blair from Braxton. We have Beast Deities from Braxton. We have Blue Wave from Nate. We have Chaos from me. We uh, have Oh shit, I just got a question. Irish God, how many how have you enjoyed the remakes of Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow? I am very much enjoying them because Keith hasn't played them yet. No, I fucking played them! Did you play Yeah, I have tried it out. I've only played it like very recently, oh, okay. but it is fucking amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay. Especially because I still have the fucking Pokemon Yellow on my Game Boy Advance, and it's still amazing. Absolutely just incredible. Um, like I was saying though, uh... We have a lot of decks. We have a, we have a ton of decks. Which we need to make Basically, sense. any deck you've ever seen us film, like a game on, we own that deck. We never borrow decks to film. We always film our own decks. Now, granted, we'd like to get more decks on to show you more different matchups outside the ones that we Typically, we only play uh, meta. We typically only play, like, top Eight. tier meta, but we don't have a lot of fringe decks because our incomes are limited. And, however, we do have a lead on getting some newer decks on the stream, so if you like fringe, like Great Nature, Neo Nectar, Pale Moon, we might be able to get you some content. Uh, I actually did use to play into others, it was very strong as Celestials, and I liked it very much. Actually, that was my, uh, to be perfectly honest with you, back in set 6, I picked up, uh, I picked up Angel Feathers because the team I was on back then, uh, we each had our, like, meta deck, and then we all had, like, our... What's the normal? Thank you, God. Uh, 
And then oh, we each yeah. had our, our like girl deck. So like one guy had Bermudas, one guy had Pale Moon, and I picked up it's Angels just to be different. And I mm -hmm. I really liked Angel Feathers actually. What do I think of Gears currently? We actually finished our Gears deck thanks we to Ryan. We actually Hugh. finished our next stages thanks to me being a Hugh god. Yeah, Ryan is the fucking best if at picking up cards. If you ever see me in a tournament, feel free to give me your binder and I'll come back with whatever you want. I do this shit for fun. So, uh, yeah. Jake said that his favorite segments are probably ties between the rants, damage checks, and my lessons. My lessons are really yeah. lessons are in fact, Hashtag uh, Jose and Keith O'Ryan of fucking Roots Chris Steak Dinner. Let's talk about it. <laughs> because oh, of Ryan's well, ability to get four card. next stages in one We're day. We're chill, guys. Uh, it is scientifically proven that Digimon are in fact stronger than Pokemon. That is a fact. Um, Digimon only exists in the digital world. Doesn't matter. Except when shit happens. Three guys, yes. Yu-Gi-Oh! better than all will fight anyone who disagrees. You feel free to fight me, friendo. <laughs> um, spread, I'm gonna see now. Where's Bacon? Favorite Digimon? Uh, Gallantmon Crimson Mode for Jose. I'd probably also just pick regular Gallantmon. I like Gallantmon Crimson Mode. Do you have a favorite Digimon, Keith? Yeah. Metal Seedramon. You really like Metal Seedramon? Yeah, I really like Metal Seedramon. Fuck you guys. Okay. Yeah, Metal Seedramon. That's a really long hashtag. Price check where I'm no longer a bitch. I take my allergies. Allegiance. Can't be bought. Uh. I do like Angels. I have not had the privilege of playing New Angels. I expect them to be... I've heard the combos are absolutely ridiculous. However, I haven't really looked past Aqua Force and Kagero, considering those two are expensive enough. My favorite hashtag that Jake posted was hashtag my allegiance can be pot. Yeah. <laughs> he is a fickle man. Well, well, time time has gone by. It is almost 4 o'clock in the morning. Are you serious right now? Yeah. Three no way. Seven. Well, we're gonna keep going because I feel just fine. Yeah, let's keep going, going. I should just put on my glasses. Hey, how long does cookout still open, though? Uh, we're not driving to cookout. Oh. Because uh, cook like we have to drive to cookout. Yeah, fuck uh, that. I'm going to I'm not driving. I'm not getting in the car right us. now. <laughs> Bro, I'm the safest driver in the world when and I'm sober. And, no, well, when I'm sober, I'm the That is not true. That is factually not true. I rode in a car with you for six hours, and it was scared of my life. Uh, Andrew, see, we didn't actually not see your hashtags. I hail the money, which is next stage. I like the rants, damage checks, and matches. Well, what thanks, had, man. What do you guys? So we've had some series that are, um, uh, that we've tried and kind of experimented with. What did you guys think of the actual reaction videos to the anime? That was something we did kind of sparingly, and then it was G, so it was kind of weird how. Like, we'd have to skip around because we just wouldn't watch it for a while because it got bad or got boring and we had to get to, like, the blue cards. What did you think of Reacts or, uh, or specifically, just because I'm asking for Vanity, uh, my lessons as opposed to Jose's. As Jose's are clearly one better, I will admit that in a heartbeat. Uh, but what did you think of, like, some of the other series that we put out, uh, but don't get much attention since the main thing that we focus on are matches, rants, and damage shows? Oh yeah, no, I didn't see the high school DXD one, and I immediately looked away. Although I did think that I saw one punch man in there, and then I got a then I realized that it wasn't true. Go Leafs, go! Oh, well, that fucked. The movie reaction was probably that was some good work. Though. Love the reactions. I want to see a, a reaction to Kai wrecking Shion. That's fair. Um, I do want to eventually do a reaction to that. And there was the whole Fine Brothers shit. That was fun. What do you think about a spin-off of the Vanguard anime that shows the lore of some of the movies? I would totally watch that. I like the lore more than like the series. The lore of some of the units is badass, but I don't know how you make a like. A show based on lore sometimes. But then you end up with something kind of like more in the Kaijudo range. Kaijudo, great game. Decent MK show. the Wolf, I love you, but I am not going to answer that question. What do you say? 
If you were gay, which Vanguard card would you screw? Oh god. I'm not- I'm oh, not- Oh, answer the question, Jose! It is four in the Alfredo morning. Alfredo sauce, every day of the week. You would bang Alfred? Uh, I would- uh, yes. Pick any dragon of choice. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Grog? Uh, Corm said, To be honest, I would prefer if you guys did more lessons that really helped me try to become a competitive player. She doesn't- Okay, here's the problem with lessons. Here's, here's my philosophy as to why, um, and this is going to be a little bit of a longer segment here, so please enjoy this, but um, while Keith plays this game, it's turned down a little bit though, uh, here's the reason why I started the lessons. We play card games, be and, and a lot of people think that card games have no actual bearing on reality. They think that card games, we play card games and they exist in their own world and nothing we take from card games can be applied to real life. Which is why I started the economic card game lessons. Because I was able to show through economics, oh shit, through economic <laughs> principles that card games do in fact follow similar patterns that we see in real right. life. That because card games have a secondary market, cards act as stocks. Their prices rise and fall given by prices and sells. Uh, bought and sell, prices fluctuate. The, the secondary market literally acted as a free market. And you could apply the rules of economics to such a secondary market involving hype and speculation, opportunity of arbitrage, things of that nature. That's what made me start the lessons. I wanted to apply my degree to something that people liked. But here's the issue at the same time. Wait, what the fuck? So all but Jose lean towards bestiality? What the fuck? I like my dragons, friend. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even say anything, and I'm fucking a bestiologist. Um, that is not what that word To continue means. the thing sure. about the lessons, though, right. the, the lessons started like that, and then we started to enter into the world of not just that, but but important rules of Vanguard, such as the grade 2 game that Ryan did, attack attack order, which Ryan did, I believe. Yeah, no, also, Ryan did, triggers, which Ryan did. Triggers, which Ryan did. I guess also, I handled most team, of like, the actual team, Vanguard. Team, team League, or Team League placement, which he did. I took an economic approach. He did that. Um, but it's important to handle that because I think what's important is to learn that. Not only do we play card games because they're enjoyable, but it's also important to realize that they actually can teach us a little bit about how the real world works to a certain extent. Card games taught me and, a lot since I've been playing. Like, and I do want to do more lessons, however, I like to... I don't want to talk out of my ass, because I'm really good at talking out of my ass, but I prefer to not. So, what I like to do is I like to think about lessons that can... Um, that I can talk about in the world realm of economics or the realm of business, the realm of which I actually am educated in, that I work in, that fits into that world. And I don't want to tell you guys things that I don't think are true. So that's why lessons for me come out later because I actually have to think about something and say, how can I economically consider this? See, I was able to apply game theory to to the other, to, to team league. I was able to apply- <laughs> I say ass talking. Um, I was able to apply uh, market price and stuff like that in secondhand markets. I could go into, um, for example, the tragedy of the commons is something incredibly relevant to what's happening right now in the secondary market, where people can technically buy whatever they feel like, assuming they have the money. So they buy all of these cards and then try to sell them for high value. It's Tragedy of the commons in the sense that people take as much as they can, leaving nothing for everyone else. And then they try to sell them at those high prices, and then they realize that people aren't going to buy them at those high prices. Thus leading to a complete systematic failure of the second-hand market. Complete and no, systematic failure. Because no one is going to buy Blade Masters at $30. And if you are, you disgust me as a Vanguard player, and you disgust me as an individual. That strat is not going to be good. Um, <laughs> There's no way that strat is going to be good. So, that's what leads me into why we don't do more lessons. I, at least I don't. It, and from a competitive standpoint, can we do more? But the lessons that we go into the competitive standpoint get really controversial. Just like, for example, I'll be straight up honest because these streams tend to never get actually posted um, long term. I posted a deck profile about Sankar, if you watched it. And I hope you guys did watch it. And I talked about why I run foil crits. And it's because theory theory and, and studies show that foil crits stack to the top. 
That is a fact. Right, guys? Mm -hmm. That foils cut to the top. Because of weight. That, that because of weight. Yeah. That is a theory. That is also... Actually, if you pull any packs that are older than English GB... Uh, not GB. Uh, English BTO5 or BTO8, you can actually feel foils in the back. And I can actually take a box, an unopened box, rip it open, and with about 85% accuracy, pull out every foil in that box and leave just as single layers. You can do that. So, foils are different. You can feel them. Foils are different. Now, I'm not saying I feel them, but I do know that foils cut to the top. So, when I said I picked foil crits because I know or I feel... I said I know in the video, which is what led to the controversy, is I know that foils cut to the top. People started accusing me of cheating because that is like, because you know foils cut to the top, therefore you're gaining an unfair advantage. Fair enough. But welcome to competitive card playing. If every you, everybody has does that, it's just one of those things that nobody says. The reason I said that in the video is because I believe that our viewers, those players who want to take the next level, have to realize that when you're building your deck at a competitive level, a competitive level, you have to start thinking about the the factors outside of the game that also affect the game itself, such as the weight of the cards, the foiling, things of the sleeves, even. These things start to play a factor in how a deck changes. So, when I said these foil crits, we were like, oh, you're trying to get an unfair advantage by picking foil crits. No fucking shit I am, I have an option, why would I take it? Now, is it cheating? But it's only cheating because I said it. If I hadn't said it, there's no way to prove it. And if you don't think that other players are taking this same thought process when they're building their deck, then you're not thinking in the competitive mindset. And that's a lesson that I would love to teach. However, it's a tough, it's a bittersweet lesson for people to actually take in. Because they have to start saying to themselves, I have to- nothing is sacred. Then nothing is sacred. Now, I'm not saying cheat in the actual game. That's not what I'm saying at all. But what I'm saying is- Welcome to Vanguard, you don't need that shit. Welcome to Vanguard. If you're allowed to use foils in some way that is advantageous for you, use them. Because if you're not, it, it's an ad old adage where um, where's the saying about like athletes where like any day you're not training you can bet there's someone else that is yeah. If you're not thinking this way you can bet that your opponent is And that's just a fact So question Raging Papio I am not the person to ask about Angel Feather builds uh, As I have, haven't played that clan in quite some time uh, Yes, Skeet, we noticed your hashtag The High School DXD protagonist is Okay. Granted, you did get a lot of pussy. Oh, uh, there's that. Uh, let's see. Okay, the wolf, you already missed the drunk train. <laughs> yeah. We're well past that point in this. I think it's time for another cocktail. Ryan, make some another cocktail. Yeah, yeah, it does it. Do it. Oh, what do you want? Whatever you feel like. Uh, you always say that. So we only have my alcohol. No, we don't. We have my. We have the. The coconut rum, we have my I'm not whiskey. Making you a fucking coconut rum drink. What time is it now? What's a fucking. I think 348. Are you bitching out on me right now? No, I'm not bitching out. I just want to check the fucking tide. <laughs> oh, uh, what do I think about the new rarity system? I hope that it actually I... helps us rather than this Bushi trying to squeeze more money out of us. Because if I have to find any more $100 GR, then I'm going to be upset. Thanks for stopping by, MK. Everyone listen to Jose. That man was a legend before Overlord decided to steal his swag. <laughs> Aren't you glad I taught you this game, Jose? Aren't you glad that we could build all of this? Can we trap grass all now? Over the SP Olivia. I'm glad that Corum said also pre Jose. It's just, I think it's time that. Look, the Mango community's been sitting casually, playing this game casually for a long time. The only way games grow is when we start to actually support the competitive community. But the competitive mindset, like I said, the competitive mindset is a difficult mindset for players to swallow. 
because it, it really had it personal preference is a statement that is forbidden in the competitive mindset because you go with efficiency if it's efficient, it's an effective, it's been proven to work, you do it. You do what you have to do to win. That is just how competitive players think. Um, Side note, Keith played D-Police in Atlanta. He played D-Robos. That kind of the god. Played well, checked nothing. Played well played? No. Well. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> what? What did you play in Atlanta? Oh yeah, D-Robos. Uh, so I have my cup. I'm gonna give a drink. I don't know if that's yours. At this point, it probably doesn't matter. Oops. Uh, there's another question that I was gonna answer while trying to read and play this. Question, why do you think the blank marsh is bad for beast deity? I think it's good if I'm wrong. Why I don't see it in anyone else's deck. And, uh, um... Beast Deities isn't my strong suit, you want to save that for Braxton. Braxton is a Beast Deity. Blank March, while being a good card, is too It's probably just a little too old and there are better things, if I had to guess. Yes, I'm in fact the granddaddy of Absolution. I don't know why I'm still here. Are you all bitches? No, I love each and every one of you. No, Ryan's still the bitch, though. Fuck off. <laughs> Ryan thinks he's a god- God damn it, keep throwing this goddamn light. Sorry, Jose. You're not sorry. Jose. I am very sorry. Do I think I'm a god? Yeah. No, I am a god. You don't think, you are. That's correct. Confidence is what it's all about, lads. All of them. People don't, Ryan is people don't you really like, Ryan, I want to play a game with you. And I say, great, I'm going to go win a game now. Hey. Let's say, can we post that link to that guy who uh, who recorded a match with me in Atlanta and I could not fucking die? That was oh, great. Man. This man, this man, five damage, Spike Brother combos me. And I'm like, I need a heal trigger right now. And he's like, I got you. And I'm like, no, I got this heal trigger on top of my deck right here. And I show him the heal trigger and I'm like, hey, we back in it. And then, and then. He manages to live the next turn, and I have to deal with him again. So I won the passive, he checks nothing, and I still win the game. I cannot lose. When it comes to Ryan, I don't know, I'll talk about this when I get back on there. I have a funny, I have, I have a sentimental story to tell about Ryan and I. They taught me a lot just about card games, but about, just about mindsets. Morning commute, real quick. Yeah, well, it's not gonna start because it's. Why do I want to keep drinking? I'm playing Hey, serve me a drink. What? If you're drinking, serve me a drink. Yes, because his mom makes him drinks. Yeah. Oh, Lord. <laughs> my cabinet is free for your use. Make your own. Okay. Drink Albert, drink. I appreciate the reference. If someone asks you if you're a god, you say yes! Okay, before I tell the story, before I answer any more questions, I want to tell the story about, not just about the competitive mindset, but about thought processes. And it also is a little bit of a, a stroke Ryan's ego. Is is slightly hurt uh, ego. Yes, yes, come over there or just let me come. What? Uh, I'm just grabbing a new cup. They're just both cups. They're on, they're on top of no, so, no. Keep going straight. No, keep straight, going straight. straight. There you go. The, nope. you, you see that plastic thing near the trash can? I got you. There there you go. Okay. So, the first serious game of Vanguard I ever played with Ryan. We were both drinking at my place, and I was built. I had built Alfred, Alfred and he had Beats. built Dote. Alfred Beats, and he had built Dote. And me and him have literally what can only be described as one of the most intense games of Vanguard. I still remember this game in my life. And I remember I almost have Ryan beat. And the problem was, I misplayed and I attacked with the wrong line first. I swung the vanguard, got some triggers, put it on my rear guards, but didn't swing with the powered line first and swung with the weak line. And so he got a trigger, and then he could guard the powered line, where if I attacked with the power line first, he would have died. And that was the problem. And I remember that day because he told me the issue and he said, and this is why you lost. 
And I realized at that moment that the only gap between me and Ryan was a gap of misplays. And if I could play every game trying not to make mistakes, I could become the best. And that's what I strive for. However, you made one mistake in that sentence. If you play not trying to make mistakes, you'll never win. You'll never truly advance. Because I remember when I first started playing League of Legends, the first thing that my teacher said to me was, your object is to not die. That's all well and good. But that sort of mindset can only ever put you at a no, 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 no. I can either die and fail, or not die and not die. It doesn't mean I'm winning the game. It doesn't mean I'm killing my opponent. It doesn't mean that I'm farming well. It doesn't mean that I'm worth anything in this game or have any decent items. It just means that I didn't die. He didn't say your object is to survive, outlast your opponent, outfarm your opponent. He said your objective is to not die. And for quite some time, I just never focused on anything but, you know, trying not to die, running away from things. And granted, I was playing the running champion, who all he does is run away from things, and if you chase him, you die. I was playing Singe. But, uh... Oh, Singe. Like, that sort of mindset, where if you just say, I don't want to make mistakes, I don't want to mess up, I don't want to mess up, I don't want to die, you have to, you have to start putting some power in your corner. You gotta start thinking, because... Don't worry. Once you start learning how to win, you won't make as many mistakes. You'll get better. But you gotta press forward instead of just trying to, you know, sit around and gather yourself every time. They're stroking your dick so hard right now, the fans. Thank God. Ryan, Godfather of Vanguard, from Throne, he ascended. He's, He's thrown IRL. He's thrown IRL. A foul. I've been playing this game a very long time. I mean, there's a, there's a time out of tradition where every once in a while when new sets come out, where new Alfreds and new Overlords come out, me and Ryan will get drunk and we'll rematch with the new, sh the new, the good good. The good good. What's the last time we had that match? Um, I know, I think we had three 14. of them. Well, we've had a few of them. There was the first time where you obviously won, mm -hmm. one turn. There was... The drunk time where Liberator Alfred came out, I won. That's true. That was very true. I was also very drunk. You're not wrong. And there was at the shop. We yeah, did it at that, the that, shop. at the shop. I remember that. Um, and everyone watched us too at the shop when we yeah. played that game. Yeah, I mean, that's it. And you did the Japanese open. You did the Japanese oh, ride and everything. I was like, I ride that Liberator Alfred, please win. <laughs> that's a good way to scare people is to chant the entire like. Kaitoshi uh, Japanese ride chant. People don't know what the fuck to do. Are they talking about playing to win but do not play to lose? I agree. You play to win, you never play not to lose. I think that's a fact in life. That was something that I learned in football, actually, by playing football. Yeah. It's my coach one time taught us, he goes, you guys are playing not to lose, and I need you to start playing to win. And I realize that there is a difference. When you're scared and you're the Oh, here, right here, this is a question. Oh, here we go. All right, boys. Alfred. What's your guys' favorite drink? Answer it out. Oh, my favorite drink? Mojito. Mojito is my favorite drink. Um, mojito? Oh, keep it simple, right? Keep it I very like simple. Mojito. Yeah. Jack Daniels and Coke or an old fashioned? Those are my two favorite cocktails of all time. Jack Daniels and Coke? Silver Fizz. Best drink I've ever had. I love the Silver Fizz. Silver Fizz, Jack, always raised Jack Daniels and Coke and, or an old fashioned. Those are both the two drinks that are my favorite, and I will always enjoy getting drunk with either one of those drinks. They're freaking what, amazing. What is the best drink to get drunk with or off of? Uh, that's really... It's player preference. <laughs> tequila shots. Tequila <laughs> shots. No, tequila please, shots. Please, no more. Well, if tequila you have shots. an iron stomach like Keith. Yeah, uh, if you can take it, tequila shots. Really, you can just mix whatever you want, as long as it's not weird. As long as you're not mixing different types of liquor without some idea of what you want to come out, really just any kind of alcohol or soda. Uh, depending on what your objective is, if it's like, I want to be drunk and hype, you know, you can start doing Jaeger bombs, you can mix vodka sure. and Mountain Dew if you fucking Everclear, want to. Everclear, A.L.M.A.L. <laughs> Everclear? No, I refuse. Jose refuses. Too many college memories. Oh, oh Everclear is the best. Mix it with Fanta. Fanta, you will have Fanta, all the memories. Don't you want to? Fanta, Fanta. Yeah. Uh, don't you want to? Really, this 
fairly cheap to make drink. It's just vanilla vodka, like shitty Burnett's vanilla vodka and Sunny D. Tastes like a fucking, uh, it tastes like a creamsicle. And, oh, I Gotta go, boys. See you next time, Jose. Notice me, you sexy bastard. I will always notice you. Chief. Have a good one, bud. And I will always love you. cannot sing. I say no one to guess. I say adios, amigo. Uh, no, we like to have a good time on this channel, honestly. No, yeah. Spartan, what's the hurricane? No, what is a hurricane? Yeah, no, I've had hurricanes. What's a hurricane? Uh, it's, it's like fruit punch, uh, a bunch of other shit. We're trying to do a bear fight. We're not doing bear fights. <laughs> bear fights. Ooh, bear fight. A real man's drink. Yeah, but hurricanes are good, uh, but only if I don't have to make them myself. I was at a, a PAX Out Twitch party, that's all they would serve us with hurricanes, so I had a lot of hurricanes at PAX Out. It was great. What a kind of... Notice me. Jose is... You're gonna go with the legend... Len Laurel Bay. Laurel is a bitch for eternity. Oh. Jose is... is the legend and Laurel's bitch for eternity. <laughs> How's it able to do? it able to get some peach snaps? Good if you want to introduce a girl to drink. I agree, and vodka, and you're good. Hey man, I'm all about that, but... Buzzy navels are good, get some OJ, some peach snaps, some vodka, and you're good. Yeah, but... Yeah, nothing wrong with there. But there's nothing wrong with hard old whiskey, my friends. Whiskey is every... Every gentleman's cocktail involves whiskey. You want to impress your fucking dad and learn how to drink scotch. You're not wrong. Happy birthday, Dad. I got you a bottle of scotch and a box of cigars. Let's share. It's a gift for both of us. <laughs> That's what every father wants. For one day his son to come up and say... And not be a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and not be a bitch. <laughs> Daddy, I want the Miller Lice. No, Daddy, no! no. Hungries. <laughs> Give me the Miller Lice. Keith. Tell the audience about about our bet we made today at Peccadillo's. Oh my god. Okay. The game we played at Peccadillo's. So we had all been fairly fairly toasty at this point, would you agree? Yeah, fairly. fairly toasty. We've had, we've had the beer tower at, uh, at yeah. Caroline Ale House. We had decided to drink the beer tower. And I decided to challenge this man and this man over here to one final drink and maybe play a game out of that drink. And that involved, what would happen if we all put our credit cards on the table, who would get chosen to pay for the most expensive cocktail by the, the night? By the bartender. Yeah, by the bartender. Who was going to get chosen? Sure enough, everyone laid their credit cards out on the table. We went over, we got our drinks. Josh and Sarah, oh, old fashioned, daiquiri. and a daiquiri. That key. We're laid out. Best woods in Chapel Hill that you can get if you ever come. Pegadios is the place to go. I highly yes. recommend it. Best cocktails in Chapel Hill. Yeah. 10 out of 10. Best bar in Chapel Hill. Oh, by far. This is the place you want to go to for drinks. We lay them out on the table. The bartender puts them in her back pocket and puts it in and sees what's going to get drawn out. Sure enough, the credit card that gets drawn is... What do we have? Our good friend, the captain. Gets his red hair drawn. The only, the only man with yeah, a full time salary. the only one with a full time salary. Everyone else breathed a sigh of relief, basically, myself and Ryan. Oh, it was amazing. It was a sad day for Jose and that $40 bar tab. I think I tipped her like 10 bucks. I tipped her everything. No, I tipped her everything that I didn't spend. Oh, shit. Wow. And, um,. Heather must have been the happy. The backstory. Heather must have been happy. Ugh. Never played that game again. Actually, I will totally play that game again. Yeah, we totally will play that game again. Oh, that's because you missed Stone Edge on the first turn. No, that's because really? I don't care because I'm the one here with a full time job. Well, ah. He's the only like a remissful range of losses compared to the rest of us. We lose, we lose. For real. There goes my bills. <laughs> yeah. I can't pay. Enjoy your.
Like, can you see it showed out on this? No. Uh, uh, well, well, no, we, we, we can. can. No, we can't. Because we don't have the. Um... Oh, because we have to string from Braxton's to get the Steam Link. No, again. because we need the. Um, we need Nate's capture card. Oh. And we don't have the capture card. Now, if. If. Keith wants to put up all the effort and download OBS and then work through the process oh, of getting OBS. God, no, I'm to, not setting up OBS tonight. Like right now? That's what we would have to do if you wanted to do showdown. Oh, no, that's no, way too much. Plus, we're not good at that for showdown. This is three, man. Yeah. Sure, you got it. Pretty fucking good, bro. I don't even want to stream and explain what my opponent is doing in showdown. Keith would. I would. Not gonna lie, I would. Yeah, maybe we already had the infrastructure. Yeah, we had the infrastructure already. Yeah, I would do it. What is that? Was it a paddle? Was they making it rain, Perez? <laughs> no, please, God, no. I don't want to make it rain anymore. I made it rain enough. Like Chris. Like Chris. I got locals later. Seriously though, stop by Lucky's again on a Saturday since I found you guys. You just have one to car fight, you, car fight you guys. Yeah, man. If we ever get the chance to go down to Green Grove, go to Lucky's. We'll give you guys. We'll, we'll play you guys. I don't see a reason why not. Also, you just have to ride in. A Lamau. Oh, smoke on Turkeys. What's up? Uh, random battle. Random battle. Wait, what do we got? What's David your favorite Smoga tears? Yu Yu, I am a king at Yu Yu. If you want to fight me. What's your highest ranking? Ranking 32 on Smoga on Yu Yu. If you want to challenge me, I will fucking play you and I will beat you. Wow. Wow. I would love poison sugar right now. Oh, Cora, I'm asked a question about Bushiroad. What would it take for Bushiroad to start hosting more competitive tournaments? Stop marketing to children. They have to honestly just wake up and realize that their player base isn't the nine-year-old they sold it to, and instead of it's us 24-year-olds. And realize that we want more than just a free tournament twice a year at an undisclosed location that's organized poorly. We need something more important, that's just a fact. Yeah. And it, unless they realize that, it'll never change. That's just the fact of the matter. Also, it sucks that their entire, like, budget structure, everything is based off of the vacuum that is Japan. Like, if it works in Japan, it'll work here. Now, clearly, clearly that's not your policy, as you didn't give us the same ban list, the same release schedule. Like, you pretty Oh, damn! Spartan, thank you for the heads up on that drink. I'm gonna try that the next time. I'm gonna dedicate it to you when I cheers. Tomorrow, probably, probably, yeah, tomorrow, probably tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. tomorrow. Charlotte hanging out with Keith. Yeah, we're gonna drink that drink. By the way, and I will dedicate it to you, Spartan ninety three EC. If anybody here is from Get Some Game, if Get Some Game in Charlotte is your local store, please tell me what time the locals are. Cause I kind of want to go this weekend. I'm pretty sure it's just Saturday night. I fucking checked the website. I didn't say anything. I'll call them tomorrow. Are you serious? Really? That's when I went. For the force turn, what was the force turn on on Saturday? Force turn on Saturday. Yeah. Oh shit. Ooh, that, is not, mm -hmm. that is not a counter. Alright, let's switch, let's switch modes real quick. What we got? I'm gonna die real quick, real quick. No, what's that? No, 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 I will do it right now. You see this laptop right here? This is what's going to destroy Ryan right now in random, random battles. battles. Keith, how many times do I beat you in random battles? That's because you, 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 you sacked the shit out of me That's in a random, random battle. battles is. Oh, it's exactly like Vanguard. They, it's I have, I have a question. Blue. There are so many Overlord. <laughs> Which Overlord do you like? My favorite Overlord is Doomhammer. <laughs> <laughs> Which is your favorite Overlord? Overlord, uh, the oh, Great. The grade is so good. To use, I love the grade. The grade is so versatile, so good. <laughs> Hashtag uh, Ryan versus Key 2016. Civil War. <laughs> Civil War. <laughs> Hashtag Ryan Key Civil War 2016. Oh, my favorite are... Overlord, that'd be Dote. He's my dude. I've been playing him since, actually, I had him proxied when he was first released in Japan. I know, I really wish we had Ode, um, 
OBS. Your Pokemon is not good to stream. It's really hard to do it. Yeah. Yeah, we had to go on the Steam link earlier, didn't we? Yeah, that we didn't know that that weird. We could do it again. Do you want to try it? See no, but no, we would no, need no, the no. capture card to, to uh, stream it to YouTube is the issue. See, if we had Nate, but Nate's in Hickory because he's on the spring break right now. <laughs> hey, we could get him actually. Yeah, wow. Yeah, wow. Hey, yeah wow. I can't keep all of you in my fucking house. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> he probably just got that. He wouldn't probably just go back. Yeah. No, Keith is now. Uh, no, uh, Nate is now 21. He is no longer Babby. He no longer has Babby status. Alright, Keith, where you at? Wait for you, right? You want to challenge you? What are you counting on? Pro Red. Alright, I'll challenge you. Hey, Lamar. I got you already. Oh, okay, thank you, bro. I'm gonna accept. What do we got? Oh, nice and driller. Nice and driller. He says you got a mold breaker driller against my Lunatone starter. Okay. That's cool. Hey, Lamal! Yeah, fucking course, I knew you were gonna do that shit. Woo! Hey, Lamal! Are you serious God. right now? Fuck you, God. Ryan! Fuck you, Ryan! Okay, just for everyone on stream right now, Ryan leads with a mold breaker a fucking orb. extra deal with a life orb. I miss my heat wave and he kills me with a fucking rock slide. What the fuck Go is this? Goodbye, Dave knows. Goodbye. Also, I could have killed your limit zone too. Yeah, of that? course you could. You're a fucking mold breaker. Yeah, of course yeah. you can kill me. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> Goodbye. Go ahead and kill you. Look pretty good. good. I like this. The fuck is this team? Oh god, give yourself up. What you got? We'll just start with this. Oh shit, it's this thing. Hello. Hello. He just Keith is the beat the bitch now. <laughs> Only Keith is bitch. I'm gonna put it I'm gonna put it in my heat. The heat! The heat! The so much heat! Ah uh, yum yum The heat for heat oh, perfect God damn it! Oh, get wrecked! God damn it! Uh, get on my fucking level, right? Yeah, for real. Wait, like a size like this big, Spartan? Like a regular solo cup, or like bigger than that? Can't miss that shit. Favorite Mega? Mine's Mega Amp. Oh, favorite Mega? Uh, Mega Aerodactyl. Mega Aerodactyl. Best um, Mega. Mega Lucario was probably my favorite. I, I love Mega Lucario. I'm all about Mega Aerodactyl. Are you serious? You have a hole as well? So does Ryan have a Charizard <laughs> named The End? It's the real question. Uh, actually, yes, I did. No, I named him Novel. I named him Novel. No, the other one is named Dote. Boost! Boost! Go! go oh, go, yeah. go, thank go, you, God, go. Meganium, for being the best. Now that I'm the fastest man alive. I don't care about that. I'm gonna get that burn too. Damn. Fucking do the burn! But the real question is do you have things? I'm afraid. Oh, okay, I was right. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Oh, boo. You oh. get another chance at everything. Fuck out of here. Did he get the better pools? Yeah, Ryan has been fucking me in the ass <laughs> this entire game. Looks like he's the bitch now. Let's play a game. Let's play it. Let's play a game. Where's the glass of wine? Is it bitch or her? <laughs> this is picking my head. <sighs> Sixteen percent. What the <laughs> fuck is that? I'm huge. Oh, look at this man. This man. Oh, nice and nice and speed drop. Twenty-four. Okay, that's about expected. Oh, nice, nice. Two 
two fucking stone age misses. Sometimes do you see this shit, chat? They don't see do this you see shit, this shit? Chat. They don't see this shit. <laughs> oh my fucking god. We live. <laughs> we live. Searching in intense lives. Intensifies. Bitching intensifies. Ooh. Yes. Oh, of course. God fucking damn it. I wonder if I can kill you. I could probably kill this. Uh, Regardless, you're gonna crit me if you have fucking leap play. Should I count this? There's no need to count for this. For real though, I was like, he's gonna freeze me, isn't he? I deserve this. Holy shit, I didn't know this was physical. Boom! Yeah, I'm fucking gone. Is this a good whip? Uh. Fuck that shit! God damn it! Oh, happy birthday! Uh, happy birthday, By the way, Spartan ninety three EC. Apparently, it's his birthday. I think because he said, "Oh, happy birthday, happy birthday, Spartan." By the way, keep my last one is. You too, why? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding? Get the fuck out of this game, Ryan! Oh my god, no wonder! Oh, my name is Oh yes! Oh, so good, the victory! Fucking a hole without stealth rocks! And then a fucking Mewtwo and the Y! It's all vested, by the way. That's why I didn't take any damage the whole time. Jesus Christ. Two what? Stone Age misses. Ugh. Two out of three. What bullshit is that? Fuck this stone edge, man. You wanna go again? No, fuck you, Ryan. Get the fuck out. I hate playing you, Ryan. Oh, no, it's June 23rd. Oh, my bad. Happy almost birthday. Wait, what, what did it say? Big uh, two reasons why I stopped playing Pokemon. Uh, playing competitive Pokemon. Axe and Stall. Stall's going. Axe is just part of the game. Yeah. Stall is a bullshit. Although it's gotten better. But still, the fucking core of what? Clefable, Ch Chansey, Bluffed, you know, like. Yeah, Clefable, uh, Chansey, Slowbro, Mega Sableye, Skarmory, and. Gastrodon. Gastrodon is coming up big. I never lied to anybody! I never lie. No, I, wait, isn't Pokémon Tournament about now? Uh, it's not out now, but it's coming out. Mm -hmm. Dude, if Pokémon Tournament was out, do you not think I would own that such a game? You're probably right. What is this? So, this looks cool. Hey, Lamel. God, I wish we could get the PS2 working, though. Oh, and, and yeah. And keep doing the Mega Man shit. Yeah, yeah, Mega Man. Except that we don't know how to kill a fucking damn spider, though. We need Braxton. Braxton, the Mega Man god. Well, no fact about Braxton, he's absurdly good at Mega Man. Maybe, particularly the Mega Man X games. We should all just, like, do things. Like, I'll do Showdown, Braxton will do Mega Man. I don't know what she would do. Did you want Cyber Sleuth? Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm playing against Rain Dance with my fucking Dragon Dance team. Oh no. They're going to die. Oh, I think they actually might die. Yeah, for us, it's next Friday for Pokken, by the way. I thought he said 3 out of 18, and I'm like, that's a hella weird rating system, Britain. I give it a 5 out of 7. But, but why? Every 23 on you 23rd Irish God if you if you you'll feel it after one glass. Didn't Brax in the first stream want to play Blaze Blue or something? That's because Brax is also incredibly great at Blaze yeah. Blue. Spartan, it takes usually about ten glasses. No, it doesn't. Well no fact, he's a bitch. No, this man right here just thinks he's a fucking god. Even though he's the biggest bitch in the world. I'm sorry, who I drank you in Atlanta? Who are you? 
I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, sorry, question. I'm sorry, what? In Atlanta, who, 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 who I drank who? I don't know. I don't think that ever really happened. Yeah, it did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you no, were lying. Didn't. You fucking no, over now for the money. No, but I know the truth. Yeah, this, this is what I get alcohol, this man thinks. Because he took a bigger sip than I did. Have you ever seen Freeze Up YouTube? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so Brax is actually really good mm. at Blaze Blue. Or Blaze Blue. Blaze really? Blue? He calls it Blaze Blue. Very good at Blaze Blue. Brax is very good at Blaze Blue. Every time we go to like, any anime convention or anything, he's like, I'm gonna go to the fighting game room and play some Blaze Blue. And he comes back with like, a bunch of money. And we're like, what happened? And like, people talk shit. People talk shit, so I'm money natural. <laughs> Damn, Rex, money match these people in the Blast Blue game. Ugh. <sighs> <sighs> oh, shit. Mm. Oh, what is this game? This is Labyrinth. Do you guys play any of the Smash mm. Brothers games? I play <laughs> Smash 4. I also uh, play Smash 4. I play Villager. Which is Smash 4? Is Smash 4 Blarl? No, Smash 4 is the next one. Oh, okay. Well, I, also, I also have every amiibo to date. Because I have oh. the amiibo. I was say, we, we should stream amiibo salty that. Mm. Oh. So if, we could, if we could use the Wii U. We could, but what we need is this capture card. The capture we always card. need the capture card. Yeah. That, that should be something we do, it's Amiibo Salty Bet. Oh, I wonder how difficult it is to, uh, to set up a currency system in the chat so we can actually have a Salty Bet. Salty Bet! Cool. Smoke a blunt. <laughs> the only dang things I have are memes. Hey. Apparently, in Louisiana, it's actually illegal to serve more than two to the same person in the hurricane. Oh, wow. The two so damn movement. They are. Are you serious? Yeah, too bad. Oh, Jose wow. Perez can drink 12 in an afternoon. Mm, doubtful. Mm, doubtful. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna be called what, doubtful already. I don't know who you're talking to. The guy. I just called doubtful. Every time you bet on the wrong character, take a shot. Oh god. No, we, we actually had a system where we had these quarters, and you had to bet a quarter, at least one quarter every time. I think it was only one quarter every time. What do I do? Oh god! You died. He did. Oops. Mm. Uh, and if you ran out of quarters, uh, you had to take a shot. But also, if any one person amassed ten quarters, he can turn them back into the bank, and, uh, and command anyone to take a shot. Damn, so it was mostly me running out of quarters every time, from like... Like really biased bets, and then the guys who were getting ten shots decided to shit on me in particular, and made me take a bunch of shots. Said, "Damn, I'm missing Rosa, DDD, and the Way Four Fire Emblem characters. I have them all. The only thing I'm missing, is, well, I'm not missing them. They're coming out next Friday. Uh, Roy, um, Ryu, Roy Ryu, and the Famicom edition um, Rob. Rob. But I already have Rob. But I want the Famicom edition Rob as well. Hard to get. Um, Aside from that, I have them all. I have them all. I love the Smash Amiibos. I own them all. He owns them all, in case... J just to be clear, he owns them all. I love my Smash Amiibos. Oh, oh, and I will oh, acquire any one of them I need to. Even the expensive-ass Meta Knight. How much is Meta Knight? He was expensive. Did you scalp no, prices? No, you pay scalper prices, basically. Did you buy uh, The that? only ones I paid scalper prices for was Jigglypuff. Meta Knight. No, no Meta Knight, no, I actually, I, I traded for Meta Knight. Uh, yeah, the only one I paid scalper prices for was probably Jigglypuff. Oh, and Lucario. I also paid $40 for Lucario. So Lucario and Jigglypuff were the only ones I actually paid um, for for scalper prices on. Uh, oh, and do you keep them in boxes? Do you open them? 
I open them for the most part. There are some that I keep in the boxes. For example, I have the um, the Mario Maker uh, Mario. I have two of them. I have the one in the original classic, the original modern colors, and I have the one in the original Mario colors. The one in the original Mario colors is still in box. I also have a Silver Mario, which is in box. I also have a Toad, which is in box. I will probably keep the Rob Family Co Family Com uh, Family Com Edition also in box because I have a Rob that's already open. So there's no need to open them. Um, you have to open them to play with them. When play exactly. With them. So most of them I open. There are a few that I that I leave closed that I think are rare and will retain value over time. Tomorrow, while you all drink hurricanes, mm. probably not because we'll be in Charlotte. Keep the rain with the PS4. Damn it! Yeah, I do not have a PS4, unfortunately. Unless we figure out the OBS. Mm. OBS is a free programming system. I do enjoy how Keith keeps getting referred to as Irish God separately, as if he's not a member of Team Absolute. Yes, but I am the Irish God. No, you're not wrong. Now I'm an honorary. Come on, he's, he's, he's on the team. He's an Irish correspondent. Yes. Fucking correspondence. I think they actually have less to the day. If they so. would make an amiibo for every Pokemon out of their, the there's all 700, would you buy them? All of them. Don't don't tempt me because I would. You would. I, I would. Know, would. I ask. Would it take me forever? Yes. But would I do it? Without question. Sandguard, unless your meta is full of Revengers. Go Sandguard. Yeah. Unless oh, you literally have nothing but Revengers in your locals. Always go Sandguard. Right, Ryan? Sandguard's really fucking good. <laughs> All I have to say on Go Sandguard, unless you wait. If you're running 12 crit revengers, go revengers. If you're running not not 12 crit revengers, then run St. Guard for St. Guard. Oh, here's a question for you. Now for the chat. What is your favorite Pokemon? Where does it say that? No. No, asking. I, I'm asking that question on behalf of the chat. Oh, to the chat. Yeah. It's cool. Oh, to the chat and to us. What is your favorite Pokemon? Dragon Knight. Dragon Knight's my favorite. Dragon Knight? Really, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't expect that one. Dude, uh, when I first started playing X and Y competitive, my favorite, my favorite team was Genesect, Heatran, Dragon Knight core. You cannot beat that core. That core was so fucking good. Thank you, Spartan. We will. Corm says, we do have a Chaos player. Then use Revengers. If you have a Chaos player, use Revengers. If you mean to tag them against the, the Chaos player and you're playing Sacred, you're just gonna lose. This is gonna be bad. It's gonna be a bad time for we'll right? Well, Jose, what's your favorite Pokemon? Blaziken. Blaziken, that sound? I know that's cliche as fuck. It, it's Blaziken or Scizor. I fucking love Scizor. Everyone loves Scizor. Scizor is such an awesome looking dude. I love Scizor. But I love Scizor. I'd be, love to be a hipster. I love Scizor before he was popular. Oh, that oh, undergrad oh, status. Yeah, I, I love Scizor back when he was real. Dude, Anderson? Nidoqueen Queen is the shit. I love me some Nidoqueen. Queen. Yo, he's the one right now in the yellow game. Nidoqueen's real good. Yeah. Yellow is trash. Flygon is also a really cool Pokemon. I wish you got a Mega. 